Welcome to this LabVault Multimedia User Guide about the 9063. The function presented in this video will be the Buck Boost Chopper. First, open the Chopper Inverter Control by left-clicking this button. Now, at the right side, under the Function Selection, select Buck Boost Chopper, then go under Function Settings to see what settings are available with this function. Switching Frequency Command Input Knob or Analog Input 1 Duty Cycle Acceleration and Deceleration Time for Smoother Command Variation Q1 and Q4, the Switching Transistors You can choose PWM, Pulse Width Modulation or Always On or Off for troubleshooting Status indicates if the function is on or off there are also the two knobs here to adjust duty cycle and frequency, and finally, the start-stop button to control the function. As always, here you have the electrical diagram of the function, and the show connection button to help you connect your hardware equipment. Take a close look at this diagram. It says high voltage at left and low voltage at right. This means that if input voltage is at AB, the circuit will operate as a buck chopper. However, if the input voltage is connected at the low side, CD, the circuit will now operate like a boost chopper. For this demonstration, I connected a DC source at AB and a battery pack at CD, allowing the circuit to operate as a buck or boost chopper, depending on the duty cycle value. When all your equipment is correctly connected, start the application. The yellow curve here is the input signal at AB, the blue curve is the battery voltage at CD, the purple and red curves are the PWM signal of Q1 and Q4 connected here and here, and shown on the scope through analog inputs 2 and 3. Finally, the green curve is the current on the line here. Since I have two DC sources in my demonstration, one of 100 volts and the other at 50 volts, I need to set the duty cycle to an appropriate value before starting the application. In this case, 50% is fine. Now, if I slowly increase the duty cycle, you can see that the current has increased too. This means the circuit is operating as a buck chopper. However, if I decrease the duty cycle below 50%, the current is now negative, showing that the circuit is operating as a boost chopper. The buck boost chopper is then working properly. You can try this function with only one power supply at AB or CD with a resistive load at the other end, and see the results. That's it for the buck boost chopper.